today's Christmas spot? Why, we're having a look at the memory lane, Rudolph and the Island of Misfit Toys, the Foreman Elf. Comes with paintbrush, paint can, wagon, blueprint, conductor's baton, and removable hat. All that inside this small package. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to do this last year. The Foreman Elf, I think Spot actually forgot where I put the Foreman Elf that he didn't make, the, make it to reviews last year. Well, fear not. It kind of worked itself out anyways, because now with the Christmas Spots in high def, you can get a high def review of the Foreman Elf. Down below, at the very bottom of the package, there is a picture of the Foreman Elf as depicted from the classic Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Right down there. And we turn around the package. On the other side, a whole array of Rudolph and the Island of Misfit Toys figures, complete with a deluxe King Moon Racer, a deluxe Yukon Cornelius with sled and dog team, two figures unfortunately that spot never to get a chance to pick up. And then of course, an ultimate 16 inch abominable snow monster with authentic roaring sound and star. The rest of these characters spot pretty much covered in other Christmas spots. What? Sorry? You didn't know I did reviews on the other Rudolph and... Really? Well, you know what? They're there if you want to go check them out. I have pretty much reviewed all the other ones here except for the Foreman Elf. I think also I didn't review Mrs. Claus, but that's beside the point. <laughs> what Spot's going to do is take a magical break. He's going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Foreman Elf. Don't go anywhere. More magic is to come. Stay tuned. Of the accessories that come with the Foreman Elf, for starters, you get a blueprint. A blueprint of a train from the looks of it. I can only imagine these are the dimensions of how high the train is and how long the train is. Sadly, the blueprint is actually on paper. It is on paper, which means this will likely not survive. Once it goes into a tote after I'm done reviewing all these figures, where they generally will sit until I bring them out at Christmas time, I don't know how likely this is gonna survive. Am I gonna miss it? The picture of this train with little arrows on the side and bottom? Not likely. But it's a little disappointing, the fact that this is always paper. They always resort to, I know, I know, blueprint paper, paper blueprints on paper. It's ridiculous. But uh, I kind of hope sometimes that we would get something other than paper. Something that would last. This would not last. Moving that aside, another accessory that comes with the Foreman Elf is, Spot dropped it, you get yourself a little tiny c container, a little tiny... Uh, holder of red that looks like red it could be blood but i think it's red paint and you also get a paintbrush now it doesn't look like it actually pegs into place it looks like it just kind of sits in there but uh, you could kind of pretend maybe put a little rouge on the foreman elf but uh, you could kind of just you, know, you could pretend like you're painting no real table or anything like that which is one of an ongoing concern that spot always has with these things Really cool accessories, but memory lane, you don't give us any tables or anything to put these things on. Sadly, it just kind of sits, I would assume, by the feet of the Foreman Elf. It's about all it does, really. But, uh, yeah, it's nice at least that it comes with it. Speaking of paint, one of the other accessories that come with the Foreman Elf is a wagon. Gonna paint the wagon, gonna paint it right. Although it looks like the elf that did, that was painting this didn't really paint it all that right. It's awfully goopy. Looks like he just kind of threw it on there. It's nice though, at least the fact that that hat, there's a little bit of paint on there. It just gives it a little bit of love. Not the cleanest, although I probably would criticize his jobs as a foreman that you would let this kind of QC, that's quality control, QC, uh, this kind of QC go. I mean, that's a little ridiculous. And lastly, I shouldn't really say lastly, but he also does come with a baton. No doubt for the Elf Orchestra. We are Santa's. We are Santa's. What was that last one? Oh yeah, we are Santa's elves. You can take the baton 
and you can put it in the foreman in the foreman's hand. It doesn't sit really all that well. It kind of just. I think the biggest problem is the fact that his hand is just a little too big. Or you could probably just get it somewhat halfway in. Uh, you see it, he seems to hold it if it's not all the way in. When you put it all the way in, it just slides out of his hand. So that's probably why these little fingers are the way they are, is so that he can actually hold it really feminine like. So he has that. And uh, lastly, the Foreman Elf has a hat. The hat is removable, like so. You can see the Foreman Elf sadly has no hair to speak of. He does have a line on the back, but that line only helps. You see right on the side there, there's a groove. You see that on the inside of his hat? And there are also these little um, indentations. Uh, the indentations will sit on his ears, and then that will s the groove will actually sit on that little ledge on his head. There is his face with his Burt style unibrow. Paints pretty good. Again, it looks like it was taken right out of the out of the TV movie, TV special. I'll just put the hat back on. Again, we'll uh, get it over that ledge, snap it down, and at least it's not going to fall. I like the fact that you can remove the hat, but for me, I'm likely just going to have him displayed with the hat on. Um, unfortunately, the hat I don't think is the big culprit. It very well might be, but uh, he's extremely top-heavy. It doesn't also help the fact that his legs are extremely loose. Um, his legs, by the way, allow his leg to rotate back and forth. They've kind of got that same thing that uh, Santa Claus had from, I believe, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Or the, no, Year Without Santa Claus, I believe. Uh, it's the same idea, and I also think Frosty had it too, where it's, it's basically like a, a half circle, and the half circle is split in half and it allows those legs to rotate back and forth. Uh, it also allows his legs to rotate side to side, but ultimately between the two, it makes for a very loose, a loose pivot in the, in the feet that you kind of have to angle the foreman elf a certain way that he's not going to fall. Too far, too far forward, he topples forward. Too far back, he falls back. Just like this is just right. In the way of his articulation, the foreman's elf, foreman elf, has a rotation in the head. It doesn't go up and down, but it goes back and back and forth. Uh, his arms rotate all the way around. Um, I guess it doesn't really go technically all the way around because when you hit the collar of the jacket, uh, that then it pretty much stops. But you can have it high enough up. You can have him conducting or pointing his finger at Hermie. Um, his hand rotates both sides, and then going back to his legs. Waist goes back and forth, legs go back and forth as well, as you can see. Hermie wants to be a dentist! We'll give the baton back into his hand. And uh, sadly, spot as, as comparison, I don't know where I put my Hermie. I went looking for him, could not find him, so I can't sadly do any comparison. But I gotta say, I do like the Foreman Elf. To add him with the other characters of the Rudolph and the Island of Misfit Toys is definitely a is a welcome treat. Uh, very glad to have picked him up. Sadly, didn't get a chance to review him the, the last couple of years, but I'm certainly reviewing him now for you guys. The Foreman Elf, I'm going to give him an 8. Right there, an 8. Can't go wrong with him. He, I don't know if I would necessarily say he's a crucial character to have if you've been collecting the other Rudolph toys, but he's definitely a nice welcome treat. Just something you can add along with the other characters. Today's Christmas spot, we're having a look at the memory lane, the Rudolph and the Island of Misfit Toys. We're looking today at the Foreman Elf. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, for the rest of this month, be sure to check out this channel for more Christmas spots heading your way. I'll see you guys next time. Hermie wants to be a dentist? <laughs>